There have been several mountain lion sightings in Idaho and Utah already this year. Two are roaming around Ketchum, and another one was captured near Utah State University this week. They normally leave humans alone, but pets, that's another story. Local News 8's Noah Farley shows us how to keep mountain lions from hanging around your property. We share the gem states with mountain lions, also known as cougars and pumas. Fortunately, it's very rare for them to attack people, but Idaho Fish and Game fears mountain lions could attack people if they get comfortable enough around them. A few years ago, a mountain lion in Ammon became a problem when it no longer feared humans. It was euthanized and is now on display at the Museum of Idaho. They contemplated actually drugging it to relocate it and the more time they spent, they didn't think that was even a good idea because even if it was relocated, the odds were that it still didn't have that fear of man. The best way people can keep mountain lions off their property is by not leaving food out or giving them places to hide. Make sure that your bushes are trimmed up. Uh, if you have like a porch or a deck area, putting some screening around the edges can be helpful so there's no place for them uh, to hide. Most cats are active at night, and if there's a motion light that pops on, uh, oftentimes that can scare them away. If you have pets, Brower recommends feeding them inside and having them on a leash when they're outside so they don't chase mountain lions. If you do encounter a mountain lion, maintain eye contact and back away from it. Screaming and shouting can help sometimes, just not a, not a shrill voice. A lot of their, their prey has a very high-pitched tone, so talk kind of deeply and loudly um, to, try to try to scare it away and then, then back out of the area. If you see a mountain lion, report it to the police or Idaho Fish and Game immediately. The longer you wait to report, the harder it will be for them to locate the animal and tell if it's a threat. Reporting for Local News 8, I'm Noah Farley.